Hi everyone, welcome to today's video where we're going to explore one of the most essential systems in our body, the skeletal system. The skeletal system provides support and protection for the body's internal organs, while also serving as an attachment point for muscles. In humans, it consists of bones, joints, and associated cartilage. This system shapes our bodies, enables movement, produces blood cells, and stores minerals. The bony skeleton is divided into two parts, the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. Axial skeleton. Your axial skeleton is made up of the bones in your head, neck, back and chest, skull, vertebral column, and thoracic cage. Appendicular skeleton. The appendicular skeleton comprises the upper and lower limbs, which includes shoulders, pelvis, arms, forearms, hands, thighs, legs, feet, and ankles. Now, let's divide bones based on the shape. There are four types of bones based on their shapes. Long bone, short bone, irregular bone, and flat bone. Long bone. Long bones are hard, dense bones that provide strength, structure, and mobility. Example, the thigh bone, femur, short bone. Short bones are shaped roughly as a cube and contain mostly spongy bone. Examples, tarsals and carpals. Flat bone, these bones are thin and often curved. Examples, ribs and scapula. Irregular bone, these bones have unique forms and functions. Examples, vertebrae. Human skull, the skull serves several crucial functions. It surrounds and shields the brain, brainstem, and eyes from external forces. The skull is divided into two sections, the facial bones and the cranium. The shoulder girdle which connects the upper limbs to the axial skeleton. It consists of the clavicle and scapula bones on each side of the body. The arm. Arm bones consist of the humerus, radius, and ulna. These bones form joints that allow a wide range of motion and flexibility, enabling precise manipulation of objects with the arm and hand. The hand. Hand bones consist of the carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges. There are eight carpal bones which are divided into two sections, the proximal row, one, scaphoid, two, lunate, three, triquetral, and four, pisiform. The distal row, five, trapezium, six, trapezoid, seven, capitate, eight, hamate. The thoracic cage or rib cage, the rib cage consists of sternum and ribs which protect vital organs and facilitate breathing. The sternum shields the heart, lungs, and stomach. There are 12 pairs of ribs out of which 1 to 7 are true ribs because they are connected directly to sternum. 8 to 10 are called false ribs because they are fused with rib 7. 11, 12 ribs are called floating ribs sternum. Sternum has three parts A, manubrium, B, body of sternum, and C, xiphoid process. The spine provides structural support for the entire body, allowing us to stand upright. The opening in a vertebrae, which is known as vertebral foramen, protects the spinal cord and nerves. The spine or vertebral column. The vertebral column has 33 vertebrae, 7 cervical, C1 to C7, 12 thoracic, T1 to T12, 5 lumbar, L1 to L5, 5 sacral, and 4 coccygeal. The five sacral vertebrae are fused to form the sacrum, and the four coccygeal vertebrae are fused to form the coccyx. The pelvis consists of three fused bones, the ilium, ischium, and pubic bone. These bones serve several crucial functions in the human body. First, they bear the weight of the upper body, stabilize it, and transmit this weight to the lower. Second, the pelvis protects the organs within the abdominal and pelvic cavities. In females, the pelvis provides a comfortable environment for the fetus. The upper leg. The upper leg bones include the femur, thigh bone, which is the longest and strongest bone in the body. It forms a ball and socket joint with the hip bone and the knee joint with the lower leg bones. The patella, kneecap, connects with the upper and lower leg bones through muscles and ligaments, contributing to knee movement. The lower leg. In the lower leg bones, we have the tibia and fibula. The tibia, which is longer and thicker because it is weight-bearing bone. The fibula, which is not a weight-bearing bone, its main function is to provide stability to the ankle joint. The lower leg bears weight and articulates with the femur at its superior end and the tarsals at its inferior end. The foot. 
The foot bones consist of tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges. The tarsal bones are seven in number. They are one, calcaneus, two, talus, three, cuboid, four, navicular, five, medial cuneiform, six, middle cuneiform, and seven, lateral cuneiform. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you now have a better understanding of the incredible skeletal system and how it helps support and protect our bodies. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have any questions or thoughts? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, this is Shady signing off. Keep learning and stay curious.